commentary on Mark Allen and uh, just had a few few pickups uh, from local flea markets that I wanted to look at just a handful really just a few but one is a is a kind of a cool surprise uh, I'm gonna open it right here <clears throat> not knowing for sure what's in it not having ever heard of this comic but it is a promotional comic uh, for the Incredible Hulk video game from from 2005 so I'm gonna look at that because I've never even heard of such a thing so uh, a little bit of discovery today um, I do want to report that if you have a copy of uh, Captain America 323 laying around that is the first appearance of John Walker who becomes the US agent you might uh, dust that off press it see what kind of grade it's in I just sold one on eBay for uh, just a hair over $100 ungraded uh, and so uh, that goes back into the comic 10 the comic the comic uh, fund because uh, uh, I know my my uh, local retailer at uh, Comic Empire of Tulsa uh, Kenny Hooker, he's, uh, I imagine he's holding a pretty good stack of books for me. So anyway, um, just a, a word of warning, a word of, a word of encouragement on that. If you have a, a, an incred uh, incredible Hulk, Captain America 323 lying around, go ahead and see what kind of conditions it's in. If it's high grade, you can do well on eBay right now. Um, I'm getting ready to, uh, well, I don't know, I hear you can do well on this one, but this is one that was, this was a dollar pull not long ago. Of course, a lot of people could probably say that. Truth number one, first appearance of Isaiah... I don't remember his last name, but anyway, the first black Captain America. Uh, that is uh, going pretty well on eBay right now. I'm getting ready to, I've already pressed it, getting ready to put that one up on eBay uh, and see how that does as well. But uh, still can find those. I know you can still find those out in dollar boxes here and there. So be, be on the hunt. Um, <clears throat> okay, so let's get to the flea market finds. And uh, just a few of them here. Um... Now, of course, you know what this is, <clears throat> okay? First appearance of uh, <laughs> Shark Man, Tiger Shark, no, Shark Man, no. Uh, first appearance of, of the shark character that is appearing in, that's how much I know about it, that's appearing in um, the second Suicide Squad movie. Uh, found this at, at, a, at a local flea market for a buck, and um, it is... Uh, <clears throat> it does, it's, it's, gonna re, it's going to... Uh, do well to have a press. Um, it is a little bit, there's a spot or two on it. I don't know if I can get that close up to the camera. There's a spot or two on it that uh, will need to be uh, pointed out. And everything. This, this is a, not exactly, I'd call this mid grade, especially after I press it. Maybe a little over mid grade. It'll bring, but hey, if it brings 10 bucks, uh, then that's a 1,000% increase on what I paid for it. Okay, 1,000% return. Can't beat that. But that is Superboy number nine. Um, first appearance of that shark, that their shark character. And you're like, Mark, you, you sure to, for a guy who has a whole lot of comics, you sure don't seem to know a whole lot about what's going on. Well, you know, <clears throat> I don't know a whole lot about what's hot. I know just enough to catch them, flip them, and uh, profit from them. So, anyway, uh, let's see. A couple of uh, couple other books here. Uh, Challengers of the Unknown. This is not a book that I have a lot of. I like the, old, I like the ones that had the Jack Kirby reprints. Uh, these were double bagged at my local, at my local uh, flea market. One of my local flea markets, mainly because it had it priced. One bag had it priced at nine dollars. They just put it into another bag and, and put another price sticker on it for a buck. But uh, this is Challenges of the Unknown number eighty four. I haven't even cracked these yet, but I like the the bright. I like the brightness of that cover. I like uh, the Swamp Thing and Dead Man appearances there, even though I'm not not necessarily real big into the Bronze Age, um, Bronze Age. Uh, DC, but uh, does have some very, very nice Keith Giffen art, inked by John Salardo. Never heard of a Salardo, John Salardo, but uh, really cool kind of opening page there. Uh, very, very moody and and uh, detailed artwork there. Uh, this was Keith Giffen before his style became quite so stylized. Okay, and um, so anyway, looks like a looks like a fun story. Who knows? Uh, got oh cool a cool um, cool doorway to nightmare uh, ad in there, and so uh, <clears throat> anyway, great Kaluta art there on the doorway to nightmare cover. Um, so there's eight, not number 84. I'm just going to get rid of that bag and put it back in the other bag because these will be rebagged sooner or later, possibly if I decide to keep them. Uh, so that was Challenge of the Unknown number 84, and then also Challenges of the Unknown. 
number 85, if I can get it out of here. Again, double bag. Both of these were a dollar a piece. Um, if you happen, I don't know if it'll show up on the camera. Um, had a bit of a bit of bad luck this week. Got a little bit of poison ivy. It was clearing the back fence uh, in, our, in our backyard and got a little bit of poison ivy. You know, I, I was raised in rural Oklahoma on 10 acres of country land. Never once in my life had any poison ivy. I got it once last year, and I've already gotten it again. They say once you have it, once you've gotten it, you can, you'll, you'll get it again and again and again. I don't know if that's true or not, but there you go. Okay, Challenges of the Unknown, number 85. Uh, Challenges of the Unknown, number 85. Uh, Rich Buckler, Rich Buckler cover. Oh, I always like Buckler's art. Very solid artist, Rich Buckler. Under One of those underrated artists, I believe. Um, and again, Keith Giffen art, uh, part two of the story, guest starring Dead Man and Swamp Thing. <clears throat> again, very cool uh, art and storytelling. I like the panel layout. Very cool stuff. And um, let's see if I can get a, a, a not a better shot there, you there for you. Um, <clears throat> after all, I will need. I will need a screenshot, <laughs> but uh, so some very again just just really neat. Uh, you know I, I'm I've never been much into challenges of the unknown, uh, but when I see the, a nice see, see fairly nice copies, I pick them up, and because um, they are a fun read, I'm I'm learning, I'm just learning. But uh, anyway, so some cool dollar finds from local flea market. Um, this next one, oh, how I wish this was in better condition. Um, this is, but I bought this for a perk. First of all, the cover obviously caught my eye. Um, this is Cole, the, the Destroyer, number 11. It is a Mike Plug uh, art job cover and interiors. Um, <laughs> I took it out of the plastic so you could see immediately what the problem with this one is. It is incredibly warped. This is going to be a, um, a pressing experiment. There you can really see on the back cover. Um, it is all the way through the book. However, strangely enough, no um, moisture stains anywhere. That I, don't, I, I can't figure. So I haven't yet got that personal steamer, okay? For Night Tiger's uh, information out there. Haven't gotten the steamer yet. I need one. I am just going to try pressing it first and then we'll go to uh, steaming it if I need I mean, if I need to, I'm sure I'll need to. But that will be, you'll see that on a future uh, future video, pressing video. So we'll see how that comes out. All right, here is the um, kind of the surprise. I'm going to open this. This appears to be, <clears throat> this is, well, I'll just show the, the Incredible Hulk Ultimate Destruction video game. Has a little blurb here. Here's the, here's the, this is the, the cardboard sleeve it came in. Pre-order now for your limited edition Hulk comic. Details on back. I'd never seen this before. And so, um, this is a video game that I actually did own uh, back around 2005, 2006. It was a fun video game. Got good ratings. Uh, but this one says, pre-order your copy of the Incredible Hulk Ultimate Destruction video game now and receive this free limited edition reprint of Marvel's The Incredible Hulk number 1 comic with a specially commissioned cover. It doesn't say who by, okay? Uh, but the art, a lot of the art is very cool on this book, uh, on, this, uh, on this sleeve, I should say. So there's the Abomination. Uh, it looks like the Abomination or a version of it. Yeah, the, the Incredible Hulk front piece is cool. Uh, very cool. Looks almost, uh, I'm not sure who that is. Almost like uh, Alan Davis or uh, Brian Hitch, maybe. I don't know. The face doesn't look like either one, though, but that's the only thing. But, uh, so, you know, this. Uh, I'm looking at the tape on this, and it doesn't look like anyone scotch taped it back. I don't know if you can tell it. It looks like the actual original tape. So I'm starting to think this was never opened. Which is kind of cool, because I'm going to open it now uh, for everyone watching. It is a 2005 uh, book, so 
me very carefully, very carefully, this was a buck, by the way, one dollar, at a local flea market. Very carefully split that tape. That's some tough tape. I want to be, ooh, there, once it got started, it came right apart. There we go, all right, here we go. <coughs> don't know what the book looks like, don't know who did the cover, but the uh, the cover, the, the sleeve itself is not damaged, except I did just find there's a little, there's a, quite a crease right there. So that, the corner has been bent. Let's see if that reflects in the comic book itself. Oh, wow. I've never seen this before. It was not reflected. The, the bent, bent corner is not reflected. I'm trying to read the name on who did the art, but I can't. This is very cool, though. Here is the reproduced cover. Okay, very much, uh, obviously, uh, an, an homage to the Jack Kirby cover of Incredible Hulk number one. Very nice. I've never seen this before. This is cool. And um, and then, of course, you open up, you flip open the first page. There's the original cover to Incredible Hulk number one and the the first page. Very cool. I'm very happy with this. For a buck, I'm very happy with this. Um, Again, August 2005, uh, reprint, Hulk 1, Vivendi Universal. Okay, Vivendi, I don't think, is Vivendi the, um, no, Sierra is the uh, electronics company, so I'm not sure what Vivendi is. But let's see if it's got modern day ads. It does have modern day ads. Uh, there's a video game ad, Bard's Tale. But uh, you do also have the really cool, and the Hulk's gray in this one too. It's, they kept the original, you know, they kept the gray tone to the Hulk. I like that. I, I liked the gray Hulk. From the very beginning I liked the gray Hulk. Before they ever brought back the gray Hulk, I liked the gray Hulk. Okay, so you have this really cool reprint of Incredible Hulk number one. Another, <laughs> another commercial for, another ad for the Hulk video game on the back, but there it is. Um, I wish I could see, I wish my eyesight was better. But I can't tell. Oh, Connor. Uh, Connor and Palmiotti. So, um, <clears throat> I don't remember. I don't know first names on that. I don't know. that might Would that be Amanda Connor? Anyway, it looks like Connor and Palmiotti. Um, I don't remember Palmiotti's first name. I know he's the one that started out. He inked a lot of uh, Joe Quesada's work, if I'm not mistaken. Can't remember his first name. But anyway... Very cool, dollar find, dollar flea market find, a reprint of The Incredible Hook number one. That will probably, I'll probably keep that. Uh, because reprints of Marvel firsts are just good to have these days. Especially, uh, I'm, cons I'm going to consider that fairly rare. And uh, it does have the not for resale uh, thing up there, which nobody, of course, pays attention to. Uh, because they're resold all the time. That's what the... Marvel Legends comics, they have that on there as well. But anyway, there you go. Just a little flea market haul. That's it. And uh, some fun reading and kind of a cool find. But anyway, uh, hey, listen, uh, thanks for watching Four Color Commentary. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that. Uh, like the video. I invite you to comment on the video. Always appreciate the comments. But otherwise, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And we'll see you next time.